Well, this review is actually a bit overdue, but I promise that I will get out this review and I want to talk about it really. Hey everybody, welcome to News to Astonish, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. My name is Ronnie, and today I'm going to be reviewing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders. Now, before I get into this review, I want to let you all know that I'll be doing my absolute best not to spoil as much as possible, considering that you guys can still be interested in this series. Trust me when I say this, that Stardust Crusaders is with the, without a doubt the most popular out of the entire series. I promise you, I kid you not. I really do want to preface my remarks about saying that this is without a doubt the most popular and best incarnation of Jojo because it introduces new characters, new concepts such as fighting spirits known as stands, doing away completely with the previous power that is known as Hamon from its predecessor, and overall everything including the animation to the amazing music, especially that intro, Stand Proud, is quite top notch and the perfect jam out song if you're riding in your car or working out. But anyways, let's get on to the main story. Again, no spoilers. Stardust Crusader takes place in 1989. We meet an old Joseph Joestar. Yes, this Joseph Joestar arriving in Japan to meet his grandson Jotaro Kujo, the main character and next generation of Jojo. Jotaro has been arrested and refuses to leave his cell, believing he is possessed by an evil spirit. After being called by his mother Holly, also Joseph's daughter, Joseph arrives with an associate named Avdol. They explain that Jotaro's evil spirit is actually a manifestation of his fighting spirit called the Stan, and reveal that they possess stands as well. Joseph explains that the sudden appearance of their stands is caused by the nemesis of his grandfather, Jonathan Joestar, from the first JoJo's Bizarre Adventure story arc, also known as Phantom Blood, who's also known as the vampire Dio. So Dio basically has awoken from his stand and has hired multiple stand assassin users to basically kill all of Jonathan's descendants. I know it's crazy and it's awesome at the same time, but what's really cool is that this time we have two Jojos running around and it never skips a beat. It's so fun seeing these characters go through an adventure. Not only these characters are trying to find Dio, but their main mission is to save Holly, who Stan has manifested but can't seem to resist the power because she lacks the fighting spirit unlike the rest of the team. As you can imagine, throughout the course of this journey, all the characters get into shenanigans, meet up with other stand users hired by Dio along the way in every episode trying to deter Jotaro and the gang, or should I say rather kill him and the rest of the gang before reaching Dio. That's pretty much the overall premise of the entire arc. Again, I'm going to preface that it is by far the best and most exciting Jojo arc out of all the Jojo incarnation, my opinion so far, because I'm only in Stardust Crusaders battle in Egypt. And I'm still having a blast, by the way. I mean, there are a multitude of reasons as to why to like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusader and why it's so good. The animation is just gorgeous, just like the predecessor. It is the funniest arc out of all of them, especially Joseph Joestar himself. He's pretty much a meme at this point. Never have I ever laughed as hard as I did at this character throughout the entire series. His oh my gods, holy shit, and son of a bitch gets me all the time. <laughs> Clearly, Joseph Josar thinks and acts like an American since he grew up in New York City for the most part of his life. But yes, if you had to ask what the best part of the series is, is both the JoJo's, Joseph and Jotaro. They're great and a lot of fun. Every time we see them on screen, Jotaro is a tough 17 year old boy. Yes, this guy is 17 years old, basically in high school. And the character doesn't take shit from anyone, and he tends to outsmart his opponents every time, and it's just awesome seeing that. As for the rest of the characters like Kakuen, Polnareff, Avdol, and Iggy, those characters are also a lot of fun, and I'm glad they stick around for quite a while throughout this journey, whereas in the first two arcs, characters we were first introduced to, who we start to like, just die too soon all of a sudden. And I kind of didn't like that very much. I mean... I was working my way up and getting attached to these characters that Jojo meets throughout the series and then all of a sudden he gets killed off and I'm like, oh my god, that sucks. I really like that character. It was a great part of Jojo's growth. I'm glad the creator took a different approach by keeping the characters alive and around for a long time. Guys, I'm just gonna say that in the end, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders is an awesome time and you will never want to miss an episode of this because Stardust Crusaders is definitely worthy of a score of an A+. Plus, that's my review, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please be sure to check out my last review of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Phantom Blood, and Battle Tendency. 
I'll leave a link to the annotation on the top right, if I'm not mistaken. And for you guys to click that and check it out, it was a pretty fun story arc. They were both pretty fun story arcs, but not as good as Stardust Crusader. And I'm currently watching Stardust Crusader's Battle in Egypt, and I'm having a blast with that as well. It's actually even funnier than the last one. Yes, and it's really good, and I hope to have a review up for that pretty soon. But other than that, guys, it's a great time. You will not regret it if you start watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders. But be sure to watch the first two arcs. They're not that long. First, Phantom Blood is nine episodes, and uh, Battle Tendency is about 16 episodes. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. And as always, I will see you all in the next manga panel. Sunny, no, no.